Hey, what's up Linear users, I'm Jonathan and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to make this abstract line art in Blender 2.81 using my completely free add-on which you can download right now on my Gumroad page. And by the way, if you enjoy my content, consider subscribing because I upload a new video every Saturday. And with that said and done, let's get straight into the video. Okay, once you have the add-on installed, we can start off by deleting everything in our standard scene. And I'm just gonna add in a plane, which is gonna be a particle emitter, because we're gonna drive this line art with a particle system. So, add in one, and for this we will need to set the start and end frame to 1, because we want all the particles in every frame. I'm also gonna set the number to 10,000, and turn gravity all the way down, as well as turn the normal velocity to 0. So now these particles are just standing in place and doing nothing. The lifetime for me is way too short, so I'm gonna set it to 250. And I'm also gonna add in a force field, which is for me gonna be the turbulence field. So I'm just gonna up the strength to about 10. And now if you play this animation, we can see that we get a nice particle simulation. We can now use this simulation to drive the line art. And for this, I'm gonna open the end panel. And you can now see that we have this design shapes panel right here. And we have an option which says connect particles. For this, we're gonna need to select the plane and hit connect particles. Now we get a few options. We can set the amount of connections, which is just gonna be the amount of lines you will have in the final image. We can choose to merge all the lines together, which I would not recommend. And we can choose a connect distance. This means that we can set a certain threshold, for example, one. This means that all the connections which would have a greater distance than one would be deleted or would just not happen. So every connection would be under this threshold. We can, for example, set it to 0.1. I'm just gonna show you what happens if we set this to zero, because if I now hit okay, we can see that a bunch of lines get spawned and we can also hide the particle system and we can now see that the particles just get randomly selected and connected. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete everything and uh, we have to re-simulate our particle system. If I now hit this again and choose a connect distance of 0.1 and hit OK, we should now be able to see that our connections are much shorter. For something like this, you would have to turn up the amount of connections a lot. For the thumbnail, I for example used 8000, I think. This took a while. This is a really slow process because it loops through all the particle locations in your particle system, so for me, I think I let it run for almost a few hours, but it don't have to take this long in your case. Okay, but I'm just gonna delete everything for now and use longer connections for my tutorial scene. So now that we have something like this, we of course want to render this. These are right now just edges, so there's no real geometry. For this we want to select everything and go into the modifiers tab and add in a skin modifier. We can now press Ctrl and L to give every object this modifier and with every object being selected we can go into the edit mode and press Ctrl and A to scale down the skin. Just like this. Now we can actually render our object. For the render I would always suggest having a background like this, for me it's just gonna be this plane and I'm gonna scale this one up, move it down and a little trick I often do is extrude it upwards, delete the upper face and smooth it out like this. Now we have this nice surrounding and we can also press W and shade smooth. Now I would just add a three point lighting system and that's basically it. That's how you get these renders. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you learned something. And if you now want to download this add-on, you can have a look at the description, there will be a link. And we're gonna see us next Saturday in the next tutorial.